That's going to go all the way. Maximum. Just what Canada need. That's the end of the second over. 11 for one. That's nicely hit. Straight through the line. That will go for four. Over the bowler's head. And as I was alluding to earlier, this man does have some pedigree. He scored 80 odd against the West Indies a couple of months ago in a one-day international. And on this occasion, well, he's looking like he wants to take the Pakistani bowlers on. Well, oh, take that! Take that! That looks like it's gone all the way for the maximum. And it's not often that you will see Shoa Bakhtar being carved over Madan. And Rizwan Chima, well, I'll tell you what, he's looking a very dangerous player indeed. He's a very well controlled shot. One thing we've seen throughout the morning, that anyone who's trying to pitch it up, it's very easy to hit him through the line. But if Asia Cup, and he was uh, one of the best ones, uh, that one was a touch fuller and uh, made full use of it. Has gone for a boundary. Yes, it's that man, Chima again. You pitch it uh, up to him. He doesn't uh, let them off. There he goes again. Huge uh, hit. A lot of power. Just clubbed it. Uh, didn't uh, flick it off his pads, but just clubbed it down the leg side. He struck that powerfully. There he goes again. If it's in his half, if he can get hold of it, he really spanks it. Well, the number two bat uh, is doing uh, a better job. He clubbed that one. I think it was uh, a touch slow delivery, pitched up in his zone, and he just clubbed it. Midoff had no chance to stop that. Bang. Got to select the delivery still. Lovely shot, and uh, we saw Rizwan Chima play like this yesterday. I was speaking to uh, the Zimbabwean management out there uh, before the play start, and I said, with this guy, anything up there, he is going to swing through the line, and he played really well yesterday. But as soon as the Pakistan bowlers pitched it just short of a length, back of a length, didn't allow him to get on that front foot, he seemed to struggle a little bit. On this occasion, too full, too straight, and took full toll. Yes, he got it right because uh, he didn't lift his head. He waited for the ball to get up to the bat. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Put it in the gap between uh, short square leg and mid on. He, he got it right. And again, when it's up there, he's going to have a full go, Rizwan Chima. We saw this yesterday and we're seeing it again. And I tell you what, they're not worried about this pitch. They're not having a look-see. Anything in his half, he's going to have a full crack. Yes, a big six in the very first over of the match. Chima just clubbing that uh, over mid on. Well played in the sense that he got it right off the middle of the bat. He likes to hit the ball through the leg side. There he goes. That's a good catch as well. It is a chilly morning, so... That's the danger, always the danger when you bring up third man. When you have a go, we see so many balls go down in that area. And particularly if you're bowling back of a link, Rizwan Chima kept quiet for the first few deliveries. And that one back of a link, well bowled by Imperiwa, but a thick outside edge and no one down there remembering that Zimbabweans have gone with long on back and third man up in the circle. Pretty fortunate, but these sort of things happen in 2020 cricket. Yes, he had some space to swing his arms. That is a little outside the off stump. Oh, that's a big hit. That is one of the biggest you will see up into the grandstands. That is a long boundary out there. You were talking about a field change. They did make one, brought up fine leg and put third man back, but that doesn't deter Rizwan Chima. 29 for one. And in the slot, despite the for anything full, he will swing his bat. It will be a good contest.
I'm sure we're going to see some bounces here. The Chima has been exposed to those bounces in last two, three games. Yes, it was possibly an uh, Yorker attempted by Delara Fernando. Ended up being a full toss, very high full toss. And he just clubs it away. That's a huge one. That's huge. You ball me here, I'll murder you. That's what Chima's message. He's looking anything full. He's gonna go for it. That's the only way he can bat. So after an impressive over from Fernando, this one hasn't gone his way. Chima ready to take the attack to him. Hit the boundary in the first ball and this time hits it. Almost out of the ground, a huge hit. The fairly long part of the boundary. That is big, that is big. You cannot be anywhere in his arc. Chima, we've been impressed with him and we'll continue being impressed. was a glorious shot we were just talking about the tennis uh, ball cricket and look at that he made it so easy stays very still at the time of connection and uh, he just gives it uh, everything uh, behind it boom he likes to hit it toward uh, gone midwicket that's clubbed that will go all the way that's gone right into the stands. Extraordinary hit. Impressive pickup. Probably the shorter of the two square boundaries today. I've often seen those square boundaries cleared. Strong man. They're not out of it, Canada. 94 required from 73. It's a good shot. I'll tell you why it's a good shot. Because the offside field, the onside field have been strengthened with three boundary riders. And Jar Wardner just brought the long off into a mid-off position. And I think Chima spotted that. And uh, went in the direction from where the long off was drafted in. And the other smart thing he did, he picked the slow one very nicely. Normally he hits it toward that uh, mid-on and uh, mid-wicket region, but uh, picked it up, opened the face and uh, looked to hit over the mid-off region. And did it beautifully. Not on that occasion. Oh, that uh, fielder was a long way out on the boundary, had no chance to stop that. That was uh, going like a rocket. What a difference 24 hours makes in the life of where we're at now. Four for 19 yesterday. Now he's bowled one and a half overs for 21 runs. He's already gone for more runs in an over and a half than he did in four overs yesterday. And he's yet to pick up a wicket. Big, huge, oh, he's got underneath it again. Chima has brought the Maple Leaf cricket ground a light over the last couple of days. Flight of delivery and uh, played it beautifully straight down the track and hit it long way. Glorious hit. A full toss, you can't bowl there. Just singing his praises, son of Jai Saria. I want to tell you that is one of the biggest hits you will ever see. 14 overs gone, 103 for four. It's a hard Chima hits it with the men's bar. He's been on song throughout this innings, throughout this competition. He's one of the candidates for those apartments in Dubai, Bish. He 
certainly is going like this. If he wins it today, they might hand it to him. You can see Kulaseker are looking to pull the length back because that has been part of the plan against Chima. Even top, top players are struggling to read him. I think he's reading it. When he hits it, it stays hit. People might be thinking that we should take that title from Afridit and give it to him. Boom, boom, Chima. Well, Mendes tried to fox him. Mendes thought he would come down. He dragged the length back and Chima was still able to keep his eyes on the ball, keep his composure and swing.